In our Health Watch report, UCLA's Westwood ICU is the first in the U.S. to initiate a pilot research program to make the dying process more personal and dignified for patients and their families. Local 3's Shelly Bota has more. Sometimes your loved ones don't come home from the hospital and you don't want them to pass away in a hospital room. A new pilot program called Three Wishes made one man's end of life a little less painful for him and his wife. Adam and Sandy Levitt loved the outdoors. It was always like, if it's sunny out here, we have no excuse to be lazy. So we were always um, going for hikes, biking, walking down by the beach. They married in 2015. He suffered from an autoimmune condition for years. Last year, he got an infection and went into the ICU. When it was clear Adam wasn't going home, an ICU team moved Adam and the equipment that was keeping him alive to the terrace. I would hand it Sandy a blanket and uh, she crawled into bed with Adam and we disconnected him from the ventilator and was able to peacefully pass. Adam and I loved walking down to the beach and watching the sunsets together so the fact that we can enjoy one last sunset together was meant a lot to me. Sandy told Dr. Neville she still sleeps with that blanket because it's the last thing Adam touched. Ash, this is where we keep our brochures. The Three Wishes team has blankets, frames, pictures, all kinds of things to help patients and families with end of life. I feel privileged and honored that for the very first time that doctors and nurses are really able to do something very active in a patient's and family's darkest, darkest moment. Dr. Neville is gauging the impact of three wishes on families like Sandy and ICU staff. Responses have been overwhelmingly positive. Dr. Neville says they filled wishes like creating a last date night, filling a patient's room with memorabilia from Hawaii, and bringing in a harpist to play classical music. They fulfilled more than 400 wishes for 100 patients at an average cost of only $30. Dr. Neville hopes other hospital systems all over the country adopt the program. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 3 News.